Okay, next thing we're going to show you is channel surfing and the ONTAP mini guide. Channel surfing is uh, multifaceted, really. There's different ways of channel surfing um, depending on your remote. Um, if you've got like a number pad on there, you can channel surf literally by just typing in numbers, uh, which I'll show you first. Um, so that's Let's do that. I'm using the keyboard, but I can sort of fake it. I've got numbers on the keyboard, so it's essentially the same. If I, let's say I want to go to, I don't know, channel 35. So if I type the number three, if you look bottom left, let me highlight here. This little extra display has shown up. So I, st I started typing a number three. That's the one I have to, sorry. So if I type five, it's now showing what channel is at number 35. I can keep typing. I could do, maybe I want to go to channel 355. That will take me down to that one. Uh, you can type three numbers at a time, as you can see. So if you get it wrong, just keep typing. Uh, and you can see channel, the channels are changing. Then once I click OK, it will go to where I want it, where, where, whichever one I've finally selected. So I wanted channel 35. Press OK. And the EPG has now jumped me straight to that channel number. So this is why you're not watching anything. It's just to quickly get around the EPG. So that's one aspect of the channel surfing. You can also do channel surfing while watching streams. So I've only got the first few channels linked up. So I'm gonna go back to my first channel in the list. I'm gonna to have to turn the sound down. Hopefully this works so I can talk while it's streaming stuff. But basically if I'm watching a channel So if I now, I could now do the same thing if I type 35, but this time you get a full mini guide come up instead of just a little icon. Um, if I now clicked OK on that, it would jump me to Cartoon Network and also attempt to stream the channel. Now I actually know I haven't got anything linked to that. So I'm going to um, fall back to just channel three. So I've typed in a number three there and it's showing me ITV1. Now if I OK that, it's now switched streams from BBC1 to ITV. As well as doing it with numbers, you can use the up, down um, keys on, on your remote or keyboard. So if I pressed either one of them up or down the mini guide will come up while I'm watching a channel and you can sort of browse through so you can be looking and just checking out what's on other channels while you're watching something also if you notice you've got a now and next display there and then below that the program description if you uh, press the right arrow once it takes you down to next and shows you the, pro the description for that for that program so at six o'clock tonight on on that channel is top gear if i then press the right arrow again it's now going to the next thing that's on after that so at seven o'clock there's top gear again right arrow again then american pickers qi excel at nine and so on you can just keep going through the day and then you can if you press the left arrow it will bring you back so I'm just doing left and right here now so you can go all the way from now to as far forward as the um, guide allows till it runs out of listings basically so that's a neat way of checking out what's on without having to stop watching anything
Um, to get out of the mini guide without doing anything, if you press the back button or the escape key on a keyboard or the delete key, that will turn the uh, mini guide off. As I say, if you actually press OK, it will try to switch the stream to the channel you've got highlighted. So that's really channel surfing and the mini guide. That's I think there's all I think that's all I can show you on that. Can't think of anything else at the top of my head. Okay, another thing I wanted to show you with the mini guide is a programmable programmable hotkey. So this means that you could um, instead of having to go through menu buttons, you can uh, just have like a button allocated to your to your remote control or something. And you can program a button on that, which always brings up the mini guide instead of going to the menu. So if you go to add on settings for on tap TV, then in the more features section, you've got here set mini guide hotkey. If you click that, it gives you 10 seconds to pick a button. And uh, once it's set up, whenever you press that button, no matter where you are, the mini guide will come up, press the button again, and it will turn off. Simple as that. So you could be anywhere, anywhere at all, really. You get a mini guide at your, whenever you want, really. <laughs>